Hong Kong democracy activist Joshua Wong has been sentenced to another 10 months in jail for participating in an unauthorized protest. Wong is one of the most prominent faces of the pro-democracy movement. He's already serving time in prison for his role in other protests. He was handed this latest sentence for attending a vigil commemorating the 1989 Tiananmen Square massacre in Beijing. Three other activists were also sentenced to between four and six months behind bars. Let's bring in correspondent Phoebe Kong, who has the view now from Hong Kong. Phoebe, we've, we've just heard this is already the third time that Joshua Wong has been jailed since 2019. Tell us a bit more about this additional sentence now. Uh, last year, the annual candlelight vision in Hong Kong was uh, banned by the Hong Kong police before the very first time in decades. Uh, but Joshua Wong and other, and other fellow activists, as well as tens of thousands of people, still turn out to mourn uh, last year on June 4th. And the judge in uh, Hong Kong court today ruled that uh, by saying that freedom is not unlimited, that he thought Joshua Wong and other defendants uh, participated in that rally with political purpose and which carried potential security risk and uh, that's why the court has to send a deterrent to the society as a whole by uh, handing down jail sentences that uh, the rally is actually banned by police uh, citing coronavirus restrictions uh, rules that uh, last year because of the COVID pandemic and uh, there are actually uh, more than 20 defendants or prominent figures prosecuted for the participation in that rally and uh, apart from Joshua Wong and, and, and the defendants jail today. The rest of them, including Jimmy Lai, will face trial next month in June. And Phoebe, this all comes in connection with a vigil in Hong Kong last June to commemorate the Tiananmen Square massacre, of course. Um, tell us a little bit more about, you know, the, the significance of this as a potential symbol here. Yes, uh, definitely the uh, candlelight vision, which is which was held annually in Hong Kong, uh, has been a tradition, like deeply rooted in Hong Kong's protest culture, for uh, over 30 years. That uh, they are to commemorate the 1989 uh, Beijing's crackdown on the democratic movement in Beijing. That um, it has been the largest and most long-standing commemoration around the world, and Hong Kong used to be the only place on Chinese soil to do so in the past, uh, but now it seems like uh, it's becoming a taboo also in Hong Kong here that uh, like through the years until now the organizers of that uh, visual they have been calling for an end to one party rule in China and that is uh, like a direct challenge to the regime and making it almost the most sensitive rallies uh, like on, on Chinese soil and this is also an indicator of like how tolerant Beijing is towards Hong Kong's political dissent so uh, since last year the, the rallies was banned for the very first time and today this is a very first sentence against uh, like uh, peaceful participants in this candlelight vigil and this is like uh, definitely will be a signal to the Hong Kong society as a whole that uh, how likely that people will be able to carry on their commemoration this year especially the uh, the, 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 the uh, June 4th commemoration next month will be the first one like under the newly enacted national security law and people are really concerned that whether the organizer will be like even dissolved by the regime citing the new security law and uh, security concerns. Phoebe Kong in Hong Kong. Thank you.